Pretty pathetic is how one stakeholder described the Apalachicola Bay Monday afternoon. You know, compare your notes later on. That's when several parties came together to discuss the issues facing oystermen and residents in Franklin County. There's nothing out there to look forward to. Devin Barber, an oysterman of 13 years, says this is the worst he's seen the bay. Right now it seems like it's a losing battle, but there's none of us that's going to give up on it. And with determination, the cards were laid out on the table, showing the Army Corps of Engineers the root of the problem. If we get these guys to understand our needs, not our wants, but our needs to keep this bay healthy, it will be productive for us. With rake in hand, Colonel Donald Jackson, the South Atlantic Division Commander for the Corps, saw firsthand that within 30 minutes, only a handful of oysters could be harvested, which is troubling since the winter months are the best time for oystering. There is stress in the system and uh, there is clearly a threat to the lifestyle down here. And I say that uh, uh, not lightly at all. Facts and statistics show the bay lacks fresh water. Since 2005, the Corps has restricted the water flow from Lake Lanier to 5,000 cubic feet per second. Instead of strangling us, just give us some flow. There's so many competing demands for water, and the Army Corps of Engineers' job is to balance the requirements within the system. And frankly, right now, in terms of times of drought, there's just not enough water to go out there to meet all the demands. We have to have fresh water. Without fresh water, all of them will die. It's a, it's a battle we've been fighting for a long time.